My name is Te Wen Ao. I'm an environmental health scientist from Myanmar. I'm currently working as a postdoctoral research associate at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill in the United States. My research is at the intersection of energy, air pollution, and health. Energy production and use are the largest man-made sources of air pollution. Hence, energy and air quality are linked with implications on human health and climate. For example, 4 billion people in low and middle income countries are exposed to hazardous levels of household air pollution emitted from traditional use of solid biomass fuels for cooking and space heating. Women and young children are exposed to high levels of household air pollution due to the women's traditional role of cooking and child caring. Exposure to household air pollution is associated with acute and chronic health outcomes, including respiratory and cardiovascular diseases. An estimated 1 billion people in Southeast Asia are exposed to household air pollution today. My doctoral thesis evaluated a cook stove intervention program in India with an aim to inform population health programs as cook stove interventions scale up around the world. We measured air pollutants and women's blood pressure as an indicator of cardiovascular health impact. The study informed scientific literature as well as practitioners on the importance of testing stove technologies in the field and the need to align cook stove interventions with international health guidelines. Currently, my collaborators and I are investigating energy access among informal settlement population in Yangon, Myanmar. Like many cities in Southeast Asia, Yangon is undergoing rapid urbanization. Communities with lower socioeconomic status are likely to face disproportionately higher environmental health burden due to substandard living conditions, lack of access to modern fuels and reliance on biomass fuels, and proximity to polluting industries. We are implementing household surveys and citizen science air monitoring activities with youths and community members to identify air pollution hotspots. We believe that increased public awareness and data can lead to effective engagement with urban planners and policymakers to advocate for healthy and sustainable urban development. I have a passion for building research capacity in low resource settings. Having grown up in Myanmar, I've experienced what it is like to want to do research but not have access to scientific resources. I'm fortunate to be where I am today and would like to give back to other researchers in similar settings. By participating in the ASEAN Science Prize, I look forward to being connected to a network of women scientists working in preventative health in the region. I also hope to inspire many Myanmar female students, as well as other minority students to pursue scientific careers and help improve our communities.